Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create fire and smoke in iClone 7. I already opened the iClone 7. The first step, you just need to click here. And next, is under your template, you should be able to see the particle. And you double click the legacy. Or you can just click the small arrow here. Then you should be able to see the fire and smoke. Here you have a few options. For example, the hellfire you can just drag into your icon. When you click play, you should be able to see some fire. And this one, the torch fire, it is just a, a small fire here. If I drag a few torch fire, you can, then you can see the effect. The, the torch fire. If I want to add some smokes at here, then I can just drag, then I play again, you can see now I have some smokes. If I want to have a tick smoke here, when I just play it, then you can see the tick smoke. And how about the really big smoke here, I just put it here, and let's have a look. So through, by using the fire and the smoke particle effect, you can create a lot of the special effect that involve the fire and that's all for today about how to use the fire and smoke particle effect in iClone 7 thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3d animation and game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and at the same time turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time i publish a new video tutorial you receive the notification immediately See you in my next video, enjoy and happy animation!